both schools only one loss, both at the hands of Homestead. Tonight, Snyder and Bishop Winger squaring off for that second place spot in the SAC. It's our must-see matchup on Fort Wayne's NBC. To Spooler Stadium we go on a windy and rainy night. 14 to 7 sinks in the fourth when Snyder's Nicholas Pesley, well, he recovers this puppy. Time for a final push for Snyder. Lenny Bennett going to lead the way. He lunges left and goes right for the 27 yard pickup. The Saints start to slow down though. Start to slow John, Bar John Barnes down. John Michael Fabini goes full blast towards Barnes on the incomplete pass. One minute left, Snyder's last chance. Barnes in the pocket, the throw, a bomb towards the end zone, but Howie Steele steals the show. It's intercepted. The Saints hold on 14 to seven. The whole last series we knew, we knew they were gonna come out and we had to make a stand. And uh, I mean, when I saw the ball in the air, I knew I knew I had to make a play, I had to make a, make a play for my team. It really brings up our confidence, especially going into like sectionals and stuff. This game really brings up our confidence because not many teams are gonna be like Snyder. So it just builds up our confidence. Over to that king of the SAC where the weather just is bitter, but the students don't care. A win over Wayne and Homestead clinches the conference. This punt returned by do-it-all athlete Jake Archbold. He makes one miss there and sprints 33 yards down the field, and the Spartans are in striking distance. That sets up the ground game. Ryan Burton out of the eye. He goes wide off the stretch. He speeds to power on in as the Homestead Spartans are your 2019 SAC champs 24-0. Carroll visiting Zollner Stadium and the Concordia Cadets. In the first, Cadets Braden Payne puts the pain on Hunter Mertz. Tackled for a loss, stalls the Chargers drive. Later in the first, Concordia back to punt, but it's a bad snap. The Chargers in great field position, and Carroll's going to capitalize. Mertz moves on through. Touchdown Chargers. They go on to win it 16-0. A tale of two halves at Northside, visiting Northrop of three in the second quarter when Crayshawn Menson makes this a two-score game. Kind of hidden there, but off the edge, he is in. No matter, the second half comes and Northside knocks right back. Alex Holiday Robinson scoring the first of 29 unanswered points for the Legends. 29-10, Northside wins its fourth game of the season. All four of them coming in the Legends' last five games. The battle on Calhoun Street. Both Bishop Lures and Southside searching for win number two this season. Off the draw, it's Braden Cowherd carrying for the first down and then keeping the drive alive. It's Cowherd. The bell, Cow back, picking up another first down as Lures would explode in the second half. And now the D blowing up Southside's backfield. That's Nick Burkmeyer flexing the muscle as the Knights take it 30 to 12. Undefeated NECC champs, Wes Noble, looking for a challenge out of Churubusco. The Chargers, Josh Gross, well, he's all state for a reason. He not only grabs the pick, he goes. Boy, does he go. The kid can run dodging and darting through all the traffic, nearly falling there, but keeps on his feet all the way in for the score. Wes Noble goes up. 33 to 6 before Busco would bite back a bit. 33 to 20 though, Chargers in the end. 6 and 1 Bluffton, hosting 6 and 1 Adams Central. The Tigers clawing at second in the ACAC, but the Flying Jets, well, they couldn't be stopped. Off the hands of Ben Voyerl, it's Alex Curry corralling the catch of the night. That off the arms of Dallas Schwaller as AC is still dominant. Ole AC 33 to 7. Meanwhile, South Adams looking to clinch that ACAC crown tonight. Zeroes into the second half, but Starfire's Christian Somerset, he changes that. The junior carries a whopping 41 times. Forget this, 269 rushing yards. Your final 15 to 0 as South Adams takes the ACAC for the first time in 26 years. East Noble still unbeaten. Bailey Parker off the play action. Season open Nick Munson off the slant, and there he goes. The Knights have no troubles, 56-8, claiming at least a piece of the NE8 title.